in before the list is pre-made. We have a YouTube series when I have ranked all these characters in advance. Uh, which is why I've placed them out already. Alright, so as I said, uh, we already have uh, a few YouTube videos when I go over all these characters. Uh, so if you're interested in hearing why I ranked these characters the way I did, then check out those videos. Uh, for uh, for this section of the stream, we're going to go over the remaining, uh, remaining characters uh, in the game. Uh, all right, so the top three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so remaining nine characters. Uh, ninth in the game, probably no surprise to anyone. It's gonna be Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu, fast, can kill well. Uh, big Boss Cat, thank you for the prime, buddy. Uh, really good recovery, uh, good offstage with kills. Pikachu do lack from uh, poor range. Uh, weak to crouch cancel. Uh, he has quite a few rough, rough matchups in this game. Puff, Peach, Fox, Sheik. Uh, Ices is hard too. Uh, so I don't really see Pikachu climbing higher than this. Uh, maybe higher than Ices, if, uh, especially if Wobbling gets banned. Uh, but for this list, uh, we will assume that Wobbling is still legal. Uh, Pikachu do, uh, he does have a surprisingly good matchup against Marth, and with Marth getting more and more common, uh, that could help Pikachu a little bit in the meta, at the very least. Not that that changes Pikachu's toolkit, but of course, if you have like a reasonably well matchup against a common character, then that's good, right? Uh, rip Axe. Don't get me wrong, Axe is a fantastic player. Uh, if anything, Pikachu not being amazing, and Axe performing as well as he does, just shows how amazing he is as a player. Uh, absolutely fantastic player, for sure. Uh, after Pikachu, we're gonna put Ices. Ices, most deadly, uh, most deadly grab in the game. We all know how strong Wobbling is. Uh, issues with Ices though, obviously, is Nana. Nana is a fucking idiot, to say the least. Uh, she just doesn't understand anything. She is like a level 1 computer, absolutely awful, and it holds back the character from going higher, which I think most people are pretty happy about. I don't think people want to see more ICs, uh, more wobbling. Uh, recovery is poor, neutral is kinda, kinda poor, especially if you compare with the, the remaining characters in the game. Uh, loses every matchup besides uh, the Sheik matchup uh, of the top characters. Loses pretty badly in most of these. Loses badly to Peach, badly to Falcon. Falco is probably not too bad, but still loses. Uh, loses badly to Fox, loses badly to Puff, and loses badly to Marv. So, unless something revolutionary is discovered uh, with Ices, I do not see the character uh, going higher than this. Uh, uh, but yeah, C tier, C tier is still characters that you can see do well at tournaments. You can see top eights uh, from these characters every now and then, uh, but still major flaws with them. Mute King will argue Icy Speed, Marf. I 100% disagree, 100% disagree. But that's a talk for another day. That's a talk for another day. Um, then B tier. This this one is hard. This one is hard. Uh, because I think both Peach and Falcon have arguments for being next. Uh, not probably to anyone's surprise. I'm a little bit iffy on which one should be ranked higher than the other. Because these two characters have... They are, like, they're really, really different. They have very different matchup spread. Uh, they play very differently. One floaty, one fast faller. Uh, don't hate me, chat. Don't hate me. But I'll probably put Peach next. Uh, she She's still a very good character. But I think the puff matchup for Peach is harder than anything Falcon has. Uh, I'll say that matchup, the puff matchup 
for sure means that solo maining Peach in this game is not really gonna cut it. You have you need to have a secondary. You need to have a secondary with Peach if you wanna like not rely on bracket luck. Uh, and then I would say Peach Peach's next worst matchups, Fox and Marv. They are relatively comparable to Falcon's uh, worst matchup. Uh, Falcon probably does a little bit worse against Falco uh, than Peach does against uh, Fox and Marv. Uh, but Falcon doesn't have a puff matchup uh, as Peach have. Uh, but overall, I can, I can see both characters you know, above each other. If someone says Falcon is above, uh, if someone says Peach is above, I'm not really going to argue it. I think it's close enough where you can make an argument for both. And honestly, I feel like it comes down a little bit to the Fox matchup. Uh, like, I think Peach, she loses the head-to-head -to, -head to Falcon. Slightly, but still loses. I think Peach does significantly better against Falco. Uh, I think Sheik, they both lose. Uh, I think Peach does a little bit worse than people historically thought, while Fal Falcon does a little bit better uh, than people historically thought. Peach probably still does a little bit better, but not by a huge margin. Uh, against Puff, Falcon does significantly better and this is practically like an unwinnable matchup at the highest level, I would say. And then I would say Falcon does uh, significantly better against Marf as well. Uh, so it kind of comes down to the Fox matchup. I think it's easier... It's easier to learn the Falcon matchup as Fox, probably. Uh, Falcon have more similarities in terms of like combos and edge cards. Uh, but long term, long term, if this game keeps getting pushed, I think Falcon uh, will do better against Fox. Uh, but the thing is, since I don't feel certain about it, that's the biggest reason why I'm like Peach or Falcon, Falcon or Peach. It's it can go it can go either way. Uh, but for Peach as well, she does have fantastic combo game. Uh, even though some of the setups are a little bit. Uh, unreliable many times against peach you can di away and tech roll away and she can't actually follow up even if you run on frame one she her running speed is simply too slow to many times catch up uh which is still something a lot of people are bad at exploiting against her uh i also think even though her recovery is good that most players are actually trash at edge guarding her uh we do see some players that are very very good at consistently uh at the very least racking up a lot of damage before Peach gets back. Uh, but yeah, she has weak matchup spread. Uh, I think the Falco matchup is even-ish. Peach might beat Falco, uh, might be 50-50, and she might lose 55-45. Uh, I'm probably leaning towards Falco at least long-term, having a slight edge, and then the rest of the characters wins for sure. The thing is though, Peach beats every character below her, uh, most of them by pretty significant uh pretty significant margin uh and yeah peach of the ledge is also like very bad like clearly the worst out of these characters uh to get off from the ledge uh so yeah i'll i'll put peach as number seven i could see her go up to number six uh but that's as far as i think the character realistically could get up um, unless something major is discovered uh Number six, I will put Falcon. Uh, I think a lot of people think more highly of Falcon these days. I think uh, Wiz's reaction tech traces, for example, opened up people's eyes for how devastating uh, he can be in terms of like uh, punishes. His speed is also like really, really important. In fighting games, speed tend to be a very crucial factor. And I think in the end, uh, in the end, uh, this is one of the reasons why I think Falcon is a little bit, a little bit uh, easier. Is gonna be able to hang with some of the top tiers, uh, because the characters like Puff and Marf, uh, he does handle their their range combined with you know their speed uh, much better than Peach does. Uh, I I could see this character getting a little bit more pushed as well. And I'm interested to see how it goes in the future. We do have three really good Falcons. S to J, uh, Nun, and Wizzy. Uh, so, and they all have like really different styles as well, to be honest. Uh, 
but yeah, Falcon, I don't really see Falco, Falcon go above this. Uh, he's probably gonna remain uh, right next to Peach, either above or below. Uh, could change. I think I think it's close enough where I don't think anyone anyone should really be like, oh, Peach is for sure better or Falcon is for sure better. It, it, in my eyes, it looks close enough currently. Um, after Falcon, we are gonna have Sheik. Uh, Sheik is a good character, but I for many years said that I think she's quite overrated and I still stand by that. Uh, Plop has done fantastic work with the character uh, and we have many many Sheiks that are good. Uh, but I think the character lacks a little bit, uh, especially when it comes to uh, uh, aerial mobility is really poor with this character. Uh, recovery once you reach like uh, you know mid to high damage is rinse and repeat uh, her recovery is for the most part pretty one-dimensional uh, and then very weak to crouch cancel as well I would also say Sheik has two really really rough matchups this is actually why Sheik I don't know actually now when I think about it Falcon actually might surpass Sheik in the future because I think Sheik Sheik does worse against Puff than Falcon does against any character most likely at least in tournament setting uh, but for now I'm gonna put her as number five uh, she does have a pretty good matchup against Marv which once again is uh, pretty valuable uh, she does fine against the Falco I think she loses slightly but nothing too bad she does beat both Falcon and Peach and she does kind of destroy quite a lot of the bad characters uh, So, yeah, I will, for now, I'll put Sheik as number five. Uh, I don't really see her going higher, maybe fourth at best, uh, but that's about it. Uh, fourth, fourth in the game for me currently is Falco. Uh, a little bit of an underrated character in this, uh, in this uh, meta. I feel like part of it is that PBMD stopped playing and he was obviously one of the biggest, biggest players uh, for Falco's meta alongside with Mango. But Mango did transition more and more into Fox and more lately have started playing Falco again. Uh, Falco, some of the reasons I put him above Sheik is better matchup spread across, uh, against the top three. Uh, I think he does worse against Marth than Sheik, but I, I do think he does significantly better against Fox and Puff uh, than Sheik. So that's huge. Uh, also, I just feel like Falco, Falco uh, he has more options and better options. Uh, Sheik is a little bit more restricted in what she can do, uh, while Falco has much more, much more freedom. I also think his punish game, and don't hate me, but I think Falco's punish game is quite a lot easier than Sheik's. Sheik has a pretty straightforward uh, game plan with her punishes against like Fox and Falco, but I think it's much harder to execute it. Uh, the reaction tech chase with Sheik, especially when people can like mix up their DIs, land behind, it is much harder than people give it credit for. A lot of people are like, ha ha ha, use down throw, but trust me, that is much harder than people seem to think. Uh, so yeah, I, I for now I feel Falco is yeah pretty set on fourth. Uh, maybe could be pushed a bit higher, but for now I think he is uh, he's fourth in the game. The top three, I think yeah I think these characters kind of deserve to be uh, a tier above. Uh, Falco and especially Sheik. I think all these three characters could be ordered any possible way. I think all these characters could arguably be number one, arguably be number two, and arguably be number three. So don't see this as like, oh, how is this character below this one? Or how is this character above this one? I think this is close. I think this is close and could all be argued in one way or another. Uh, I will go with Marv. As number three though uh, part of the reason is that I think Marv have more more evenish matchups uh, than Fox and Puff uh, I do think he does worse against quite a lot of the characters like if you look at Cheek for example I think Marv does 
clearly worse uh, than uh, Fox and Puff. Uh, he also has some of these matchups like Pikachu and Yoshi that is like surprisingly tricky for Marv. While for Puff and Fox, it's, you know, if you're going to play against Pikachu or Yoshi, for Fox and Puff, I don't think this is nearly as much of an issue. But as a Marv main, as a solo Marv main, these are legit concerns uh, for you. I'm not saying Marv necessarily loses, but he sure as hell have a harder time against these type of characters uh, than Fox and Puff. I know the Marv Falcon matchup is, you know, discussed a lot, whether like Falcon or Marv does better. But in my eyes, I think Marv probably runs a higher risk of losing uh, against Falcon as well. Uh, Marv also can suffer from the fact of like having a hard time closing out stocks. Like if you play a tiny, tiny bit off with your punishes, it can be hard to get that uh, <coughs> finishing touch of actually killing your opponent. I don't think it applies nearly as much to uh, Puff and especially Fox. Uh, but Marv, he is good enough where I could still see him maybe be the best character in the game. Like, let's put it this way. What if he actually beats both Puff and Fox? That's not an impossible scenario uh, by any means. Uh, so, yeah, the character, the character does have what it takes to arguably be number one. Uh, but for now, for now, I feel like he's probably, probably number three. He's also pretty weak out of shield uh when you think about it so yeah for me he's gonna be number three in the game uh but again could be number two could be number one uh i'm also very excited to see uh how sane keeps progressing because he's like one of the players that really have improved uh in the past like one and a half two years so uh I'm very excited to see that, and hopefully, if Mewtwo King starts playing Nelly a bit more serious again, uh, then top two, top two once again uh, also could be put in any order. Uh, one, two, or three, all reasonable picks, uh, but might be controversial. But I'll actually put Fox as number two. And I know, I know Reddit is going to react. Uh, They're going to think I'm crazy. Obviously, uh, they know 100% more about the game than I do. Uh, and once again, before we go further, uh, Fox very clearly could be number one in the game as well. The thing is, for me, the main thing, the main thing that made me put Fox as number two over Puff or under Puff is that since I have such a hard time to really tell which character is better, then I think the fact that Puff has much lower execution, uh, have a much more similar game plan against characters, and kind of invalidates more characters than Fox with an easier time and more consistency doing it. With that said, I think Fox players love to overhype how hard a character is, and I think I'm how do you say, not only knowledgeable enough, but I also did play Fox in tournament. So uh, I personally think Fox players overstate how hard a character is, but I still think he's significantly harder from, uh, from a technical standpoint uh, than Puff. And the fact that the Fox matchup is much easier to get good practice against becomes a disadvantage uh, in the current meta as well, where playing as Puff is incredibly hard to get any uh, valuable practice against. Some tournaments you go to, you don't have a single decent Puff player at. It's getting more common. Puff has gained some popularity in terms of player base. It's still very small, especially for being, in my eyes, bare minimum a top three character. Uh, she's like criminally underrepresented in the game. Uh, but yeah, Fox, still incredibly strong character, offense, defense, kill confirms. I think his punishes are, even to this day, very underrated. Uh, fantastic character, to say the least. But I think what uh, seals the deal for me is, yeah, mainly the fact that 
Poff and Fox close enough in scale where it's hard to decide, but uh, Puff has a little bit of the floaty privilege of being more consistent, but she also does get like the peaks uh, of the S tier characters. So she kind of has everything you would need in a character to win tournaments and consistently get high placements. If you look at other floaties like Peach and Samus, they do have a consistency, but they lack the peaks to truly climb higher. With Puff, I think you you get the best of both. Uh, uh, I can't really see notifications right now while doing this, so I'll thank you later. Thank you so much, whoever this wonderful person is. Uh, but yeah, so to keep going back to Puff here a little bit, uh, Puff, also some, some stuff with Puff that people underrate, I think, is that Puff basically break certain rules of the game. You basically can't combo the character. Like, it's incredibly situational. Edge guarding this character, you wish, you wish. That simply doesn't work. Uh, so, because of that, Puff being cornered is not nearly as bad as it is for other characters. And even before people say ledge dash, I do agree that it is kind of a weird concept in melee how being cornered and you can have a ledge dash, but at the very least you run the risk of dying if you mess up. With Puff, you don't mess up, or you don't have the risk of dying from messing up at the ledge. And the risk reward is so skewed that attacking Puff by the ledge is simply not worth it. It's a reason why people that are actually good against Puff basically never try to overextend by the ledge. Uh, and when they try to edge guard more than enough, they lose on it. They lose by going to a position that normally is like, you know, seen as good. Weak hits at high damage against every other character in the game. Like, if you get someone off stage with a weak hit at high damage, having them off stage, they might die. With Puff, getting a weak hit doesn't matter. You need to seal the stock. It's no like, oh, She's off stage. This is good. It's like, well, whatever. I, I need to like still land that stray hit. Uh, uh, also, I think Puff is incredibly under underrated, and it's certain things that the character can push more. Uh, the reaction tech chase rest is actually incredibly silly. Uh, it's still incredibly underused. And some people might say, oh, what if you miss? The thing is, if you feel uncertain, you don't have to commit to the rest. You could do the rest when you're at very high damage or low damage to make sure that you actually don't die in case you miss. But if you are correct, you get a, like, a full stock. It's actually, uh, actually really, really crazy. It is more to the character too. In one way, I want to talk about it, but... I think everyone knows how much I dislike this character, so I don't really want to be the person to like help pushing her meta because I simply don't find it fun uh, to play against or watch. So I don't really want to be in charge, and I don't feel like it's my responsibility to teach everyone about everything in this game. I have given people a lot of info over the years, uh, but that's me trying to like be nice and teach people the game. I think with Puff, it's for the best to keep some of these things under wrap. I can understand if people are like, oh, but how are we supposed to know, blah, blah, blah. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Uh, but yeah, lack, lack of comboing the character for most characters, unable to edge guard her, uh, reaction tech chase with rest, uh, overall fantastic punish game as a whole, uh, similar game plan, shutting down, most of the characters in the game. Timeout potential with this character is incredibly underutilized. I hope it stays that way because it's simply not a good spectator sport in any sort of fashion. Uh, but with the current rule set for melee, uh, Puff have much more timeout potential uh, by stay like by being at the ledge, by being in the air. Uh, incredibly skewed risk rewards. Uh, but yeah, I, I hope that part of Puff remains underutilized uh because if not i think that could actually be bad for the game if i'm gonna be entirely honest is it weird that i think marv is equally as good versus puff as fox i, I don't think it's necessarily weird 
Fox have traditionally been seen as the puff counter. Uh, but I think at the very least, people are starting to see that the matchup is not nearly as loop-sided as people thought. It's not even impossible that Puff wins the matchup. Uh, but as I said, I think all these three characters could be ordered in any way. Uh, I might change my mind in the future. Uh, when I started entering tournaments back in 05, when people said Puff was pretty bad, I actually thought she was the best in the game. Uh, I did change my mind later on to Fox and had that belief for many years. Uh, but now I'm back to Puff as number one again. So for people saying that, oh, it's only because of like HBox or Mango back in the day, I literally pointed out Puff arguably being the best in PAL back in 05 before either of them had ever entered a tournament. Uh, so just to clear that up. Uh, but at the very least, I think these three characters are mainly going to be like the strongest characters in the game. Falco might, might get pushed up. Uh, I could see that happen. Uh, but at the very least, I think these three characters will remain bare minimum top four for the rest of the game's lifespan. Uh, yeah, I, I think Marv could be the best. I think all these three could be ordered in any way. And I would not really... I would not really argue against you unless you try to say that one of the characters are far behind or suck. Then I would argue against you. But if you put these three in any order and it's like within a close gap, then it's close enough to my opinion where I'm like, yeah, like I I'm fine with that. Like, I, I think that could be the case. But I, I know this will spark some controversy because most most people that watch smash not to like offend people but the game is incredibly complex and hard to play and understand and most people have been pushed with the agenda that puff is not a very good character so for a lot of people it's like their their whole melee world is like falling apart it's like oh everything we believed in it might not be correct uh but yeah yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be my my current tier list for melee in 2019. Uh, things might change in the future. Uh, we only did go uh, go over Pikachu and upwards. The rest uh, I've talked about in uh, previous YouTube videos. Uh, but yeah, this is how I look at melee in 2019, and I, I think at the very least, at the very least, this is a reasonable list. Uh, I know, like, Puff being one, uh, it, Puff being one, the fact that we have three tiers in the top seven characters uh, might also, some people might be like, oh, why do we have three tiers instead of two? Uh, I, feel, I feel like it's enough of a gap between here and here and here and here to, uh, to like, show uh, the difference here. Uh, But yeah, um, yeah, please let me know what you think about this tier list. Uh, I'm excited to hear, even though I know some some hate uh, regarding my placement on Puff will happen. Uh, but I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Uh...